So today, it's, it's just video day again, and we're going to talk about a, a really, really rough 22 auto we got in. A uh, man over in Kansas City gave it to me last week, and this thing is really, really pitted and rough. It's just one big, rusty, globby mess. I've taken it apart, and uh, we're going to uh, uh, begin our work on it. For, uh, first thing we're going to do is take it back to the sandblaster. We're going to bead blast off all this rust so we can see what we've... Uh, got to do from that point and that's at that point we're going to have to get the pitting out which i assure you there will be plenty of it in there because it's so rusty right now i can barely even see any engraving in it so that's uh that's our video for today okay so we've been back to the bead blast cabinet uh where we had a real fine what we call bt13 glass bead real fine we have bead blasted the rust off of this poor old gun and it is pitted just like i thought it was going to be all over something terrible it's probably going to lose some lettering on the barrel um, if i'm careful around it it won't but we can always touch up lettering it's not a problem it has to be touched up by hand uh, just like the engraving will all be done by hand so we're going to get on the vise now and get it in the vise and we're going to get some polish work started on this we're going to uh, start getting that pitting out and uh, we'll see what we end up with after we're done but i assure you It'll be pretty void of engraving because this pitting goes quite deep. deep. So I'm in the wriggling process of putting uh, all the borders back on. We call it wriggling. It's an interesting way of putting borders on. You'll actually see this kind of uh, engraving. They use it in uh, western saddles. They call it wriggling. And uh, it's the borders that you'll see around a 22 auto. And a Browning Auto 5 has a what I call a wriggled border. So we just run it out here by walking our little tool out across the receiver. I got a piece of tape on here to kind of guide me so I can keep my line straight. And there you go, you got your wriggling going back on. So the engraving process uh, has begun. We will now be hand engraving. Uh, the scroll work and all the engraving that's on the uh, receiver. It's going to take a little while. It's all done by hand. And uh, we'll uh, get started on that and we'll kind of show you about halfway through and we'll show you the completed uh, process. So, uh, we uh, took in this Roof 22 Auto, and we uh, just put it together, got the receiver all assembled on it. Um, this is the one that uh, was really, really badly pitted, so the engraving's all been replaced. And uh, it's been re-blued, so it all looks like a factory gun again. Uh, replace the engraving, replace the borders on it, polish the bolt, and uh, did all we could do to make that gun look like factory new again. So that's all there is to it.